going on? This is the fourth video in this series and in this video I'm going over my thoughts on my installation, what I did. I'm going to give you my sincere thoughts as to who I think this type of installation will benefit, who it will not. When I started this uh, project, my goal was pretty simple. I wanted to eliminate all of the rattles that were going on whenever certain bass frequencies would hit um, and, and whenever I was driving over certain uh, road surfaces. Um, I also wanted to reduce the road noise a little bit, although that wasn't my, my main goal. Uh, still, as a side benefit, I wanted to reduce road noise a little bit and I wanted to do all this without adding incredible amounts of weight, one, and without spending an arm and a leg. You could do this installation to whatever level you'd like. The four videos, I kind of made them so that you could use them as a reference more than like exactly what I did and doing your own installation for whatever materials you decided to, to, to use. But this video, I'm gonna go over the review of what I used and what you can expect if you do something similar. So before this installation, there was a lot of sound energy lost through panel vibrations. Whenever the bass was hitting and certain frequencies would hit, the panels would vibrate and it would just muddle up the sound. And um, by the time it got to your ears in, in the driver's seat, um, a lot of it was lost. So you, you had to compensate by turning up the bass or, or the volume. And this is especially bad in the trunk area. The trunk had a lot of spots that vibrated a lot. There's a lot of thin metal back there that would just resonate and vibrate and you could hear it very loudly when you stepped outside of the car. The road noise also was you know, it just left a little bit to be, de be desired. And it, it wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't by far the worst car I've had, but it was enough to, to leave me wanting the car a little bit more quiet. All right, so doing a little road test here so that uh, you can get a sense of what the car sounds like now that I've already done the soundproofing. Now, I'm gonna apologize right off the bat. It wasn't until after I started, that, that I got un, until I got ready to do the installation that I decided to make a how-to series about this. So I didn't think ahead and do all these uh, before tests on the car. If I had, I would've, and I would've done the test on several different types of surfaces and going several different speeds but unfortunately i didn't do it so i apologize for that but maybe this video you can you'll be able to get a sense and compare it to your own um, experiences in your own wrx and see if you you spot a difference or not you may you may not um but my own personal experience w with this installation now that i've done this i can tell you that i i enjoy the car much better the sound is much tighter and inside the car and it feels much better and I can turn the bass down. Now, the as far as road noise goes, because soundproofing is very specific to a, a frequency range, you're not gonna get the same improvements on, on different types of roads. So some roads, I feel like there's a two to three decibel increase, like improvement in road noise, uh, and others, there may be one. Still others feels like uh, that there's no improvement at all. Also, because I didn't do the firewall, the sounds from the engine come into the car a little cleaner. The same thing with the exhaust, the exhaust notes come in lower and cleaner and it feels, it, it sounds better inside the car and I can hear the turbo, you know, spooling up um, much cleaner now. I don't have any cause for complaint anymore. I did before, but I don't now. I feel like it took the edge just enough. It's not a luxury car by any means, but it's, it feels just enough, whereas if I would have bought the car like this, I would not have had a need at all to do this project. But I'm getting ready to make a left here, so when I make a left, I'm gonna accelerate kinda hard, um, and then, so maybe you'll be able to hear what the, the engine sounds like now, and maybe even uh, hear the turbo spooling up. much of that you heard but it sounded pretty good to me
all I got to do now is get an aftermarket uh, exhaust and make it sound even better. Some final thoughts about this installation. To me, it was 100% worth the time, the effort, the money that I spent doing this. I, I, I had a, a big improvement and I got the car just where I wanted it as far as road noise and as far as the sound quality, as far as the feel of the doors closing. Now they, they feel like a high quality, so, so I'm very, very, very happy. But there might be some people that weren't even bothered by any of these things before. And to those people, this installation is probably, it's probably not worth it. Um, to those people that don't care about weight, don't care about expense, you can be as elaborate as you want with this and just use it as a reference to kind of know how to take your car apart and stuff like that. But you can you can put really high quality, the heavy, you know, mass loaded vinyl in there with a high quality closed cell foam and the high quality CLD tiles. And um, you know, it's gonna be expensive and it's gonna add a lot of weight to your car, but you can get your car sounding just amazing, amazing. So if nothing else, I hope that this video series at least showed you that if this this was not a hard job at all that this is definitely within the realm of the you know we can do it yourself or you can do everything that I did um, literally in, in a few hours um, just like I did so it's definitely not a hard thing to do and if you follow the tips that I sprinkle throughout then you'll definitely succeed and I can tell you that I'm enjoying my car a lot more now that I that I haven't done all these things so so that's it, that concludes this video and this series. I'm moving on to other things. Upcoming projects, I'm gonna be installing mud flaps, I'm gonna be installing a uh, new grill, I'm gonna be installing the front spoiler, I'm gonna be blacking out chrome. This is all gonna be videos that are coming out in the future, future projects. I'm gonna be doing another video on five things you should know about the CBT, and I got a 10,000 mile review coming up. And, um, for, and for those who are interested in, in the shutter portion, of uh, boost and shutter. I'm also going to do a how-to video on how I built my time-lapse slider, a professional quality time-lapse slider, and also a thoughts and impressions on the Autel XR Premium drone, which I recently acquired. Please subscribe if you're interested in any of those projects and what comes after that, who knows, but I have a notebook filled with ideas. So thanks a lot for watching.